flounder is one of the popular and expensive white meat fish for sushi or sashimi. As demonstrated in the earlier lecture, the procedure to break down a fish follows the same technique, sanmai oroshi. However, because of its flat structure, flounder is usually broken down into five parts, so-called gomai oroshi. This video demonstrates how to do this task. Remove the scale with fish scaler and wash the fish with running water. Seawater contains some vibrio, which causes food poisoning. Fresh fish from supermarkets may still have some bacteria on it, so wash carefully before preparing. Vibrio can only survive in seawater, so you can kill them with fresh water. Insert the knife along the pectoral fin and gill cover to remove the head. Wash and rinse the cavity to remove the entrails. Place the fish on a cutting board. Identify the middle line along the backbone and insert the knife vertically on the line. Make a slit along the dorsal fin to make it easier to separate the flay from the bone. Starting from the tail side, tilt the knife blade toward the dorsal fin to slice up the top flay from the bone. Wield the knife little by little, feeling the bones underneath the blade so you waste less flesh by leaving it on the bone. Starting from the head end, Separate the top fillet on the other side likewise. Turn the fish over and repeat the procedure for the bottom fillet. A whole fish is broken down into 5 parts. Slice off the ribcage bone and remove the skin.
rip off the fin meat with your fingers. Place the fillet skin side down and slice it into pieces for sushi. Flounder has a chewy meat, so slice thinly to enjoy its delicate texture. Fin meat can also be served as sushi item. This oily part of flounder exudes sweetness as you chew, so you will enjoy another side of unique flavor of flounder fish. Decorate on a plate as you desire. 